Hey, I'm Ubu. And I'm Aspen. What do you want? Oh boy. Scary godmother revenge of Jim, me. When I was editing the first episode of this, since I, you know, had the actual video in the background, I realized, like, we just didn't finish it. <laughs> yeah, we went and watched the Street Fighter thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I was like, I can't even finish the movie. That's so funny. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, I wish Henry. there was, like... There. There we go. Perfect. Um Yeah, I hate sound when I'm doing movie grits. For real. If what? the viewer wants to hear sound, then they can watch it themselves. Exactly. Yes, yes, quite. Uh, yeah, so I imagine they just, like, scared Jimmy and his friends. And then Jimmy was like, oh, I, I ought to get revenge. And that's where this movie comes in. I see. Those buttons look exactly like the sugar cookies that come out. Like the themed sugar cookies. Mm-hmm. Makes me want one. I are you talking about like the little Pillsbury ones with the mm-hmm. picture on it? Yeah. Oh, I, lo- I love those. Those only taste good when they're directly out of the oven, and then like once they cool off, they're like okay. Once they cool off, they turn into like a very unique chalky texture. Yeah. I don't hate it. <laughs> you don't hate it. <laughs> also, I want to point out these are apparently based on books. Oh. That's what, that's what the credits said. Okay, well that doesn't help with anything. <laughs> Once upon a time, viewer, I had an idea for an entire YouTube channel where I was going to talk about movies and the books they were based on and movies based on video games also sometimes. Yeah. And uh, I guess this would have been a Halloween special and then like the next year I would have done Scary Godmother 2 Revenge of the Jimmy. But I yeah. never did that idea, so that never happened. That's why I'm telling y'all. Yeah, so, surprise. Mm-hmm. You want to take a guess on what the... A guess? A guess on what the first episode was going to be? <gasps> Me? No, the viewer who's not here and able to guess. Oh, okay. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure. No, you! <laughs> I won't get mad if you don't know. Wasn't it guess. Iron Giant? Yes. Okay. You remembered. Cool. I don't know why I was thinking of Spyro. I was like, that's not based on a book. <laughs> yeah, that's not based on a book. I should do a, vi- a YouTube video one day where I just talk about liking Spyro, though. Yeah. Whoa. Goodness, his eyes, his eyes became not pinholes in his head. They did add, oh, they did add. <laughs> I like it when that happens. A little reflective shadow, so it's not as terrifying, but they're still pretty bad. Yeah, it's, like, better looking. I'm proud of them. I like how their heads, like, are pulsating like that. Yeah, that's not good. Honestly, I I like how this looks. I feel like they weren't content to just do the same thing again. They were like, oh, we gotta gotta go bigger and better. (laughs) But keep the eyes. (laughs) I feel like they're trying their darndest to make it a cartoon. Even though it's 3D animation. Which I guess, depending on who you ask, is a cartoon. But you know what I mean. Like, 2D animation. Yeah, I was going to say that the background kind of feels like Pajama Sam, but like <laughs> 3D version. Yeah, there are like certain shots of it where it like it looks like cell shaded the background. Mm-hmm. Like when it, I mean, the, the line work is like thick on that curtain. Uh-huh. See, look at all that. It's like they're in freaking Breath of the Wild. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, I like it. I like this movie. I'm not going to pay attention to it, but I like this movie. Yeah. If you like it, I don't hate you. I hope that makes you feel good about yourself. Because <laughs> yes. I normally hate a lot of people. Yeah. I'm just I'm just kidding. Um, I like how there's like no straight lines almost either. Like yeah, it's, it's very uh, Luigi's Mansion looking. It's yes. very Wallace and Gromit. Speaking of the new <laughs> Wallace and Gromit, <laughs> I'm curse so of mad. The were- chicken. Yeah, curse of the were penguin. Um, 
<laughs> I thought it was going to be for like Halloween because it seemed kind of like a spooky theme, but they're like, no, January. I'm like, oh, okay. Feathers McGraw is a spooky theme. <laughs> well, it just seemed like mysterious. Like they're. Oh, they have uh, to solve. We have to solve the mystery of why everyone thinks I'm evil. Yeah, exactly. And then Gromit says. And then Feathers McGraw says. Because the only person in, in those films who talks is Wallace. <laughs> yeah, and then Sean the Sheep shows up and goes, Meh. Oh, yeah. And then uh, the other sheep goes, Meh. And then the farmer goes, And the were rabbit <laughs> thumps its foot. Yeah. I'm, ha, next, next Halloween, we need to watch that. Next I've never Halloween. seen it. Okay, fine. Tomorrow. <laughs> well i just it's curse of the were rabbit is it's as halloween centric as this movie is because yeah. it's, it's quote unquote spooky for children yeah. but um i've never seen it even though i like wallace and gromit i watched like the original movies i saw like the one where he goes to the cheese moon and the one where yeah the the robot dog wants to kill the sheep and the one where feathers mcgraw is there um yeah. i've seen those but i never saw curse of the were rabbit so good well i've never seen it why does this little girl look like she could be like 30 and running a company or something <laughs> She's just small for her age. Yeah. Which is 30. She's just hanging out under the bed. Dude, she has a Max Rebo plush. Who? <laughs> it's the blue elephant guy from Star Wars who oh, plays in Joppa's yes. band. <laughs> Dude, my go-to VR chat avatar used to be called Wide Rebo. Mm -hmm. And it was a 3D model of Max Rebo that was stretched out so far, it you could barely even tell what you were looking at. That sounds fantastic. See, there he is on, oh, the, yeah. on the green ottoman. She says, oh, ha ha, non-Rebo heads. So basic. I'm based, because I, I have a favorite Star Wars character. Anyway, um... Yeah. Yeah, I would, like, run around in, like, this dance animation that I'd always forget to turn off. You'd <laughs> just keep going as you moved? Yeah, and no one could tell what was happening because Re Max Rebo was so stretched out that you couldn't tell hmm. <laughs> what it was. <laughs> but then the, the server that uploaded it deleted it. Man. So now, <laughs> my avatar on VR chat. Is one of the cousins from Katamari, but someone replaced his face with George Lucas's face. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and if you know what the characters from Katamari look like, he's just like a little imp character with like an oval for a head. A That's big oval. Terrifying. Yeah, and instead of like this little simple face that's like a triangle nose, a rectangle mouth, and like two little like almond eyes it's george lucas's face like mapped to a rectangular prism that's like my favorite kind of like you know insert yeah. <laughs> so good i have like me me and some friends we went to an avatar world where you could just like type a thing in and like a bunch of avatar results would pop up and that one came up and i was like i don't know what context this is this is probably some like really obscene reference between like three friends who talk on vr chat every day and they like are so tech savvy that they just whipped up this 3d model but i don't care i love it i love katamari and i i used to like star wars when i was a kid so <laughs> so here it Perfect. is it really is also i like that you said uh pajama sam and then she like went through the closet to get here yeah, it was like a little Pajama Sam Narnia mm -hmm. moment. She said, Scary Godmother, can we play Cheese and Crackers? <gasps> cheese and Crackers. There's cheese <laughs> on the screen. Ew. I don't. Ew. Yeah, I don't like the way the cat looks. Honestly. It reminds me of something, but I fear remembering what it is. 
That's kind of what cheese looks like. <laughs> Just like a, a, a strand of a an unknown <laughs> yeah. thing. He's the skinniest like boy out of all of the cats. He needs to eat more. Mm-hmm. Oh, I can't because the uh, dude's so fat. So he's the skinniest, but he's fat? No, 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 no. Cheese is the skinniest and dude is the fattest. Oh, yeah, I forgot you have a cat named Dude. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> if I thought you, you met were him, like, you'd understand. <laughs> no, I get it, I get it. I thought you were saying he's already fat, but compared to everyone else, he's the skinniest. No, 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 no. So Chip <laughs> is like nine pounds and Dude is like 13 pounds. <laughs> I get it. I get the it. Fat cat. <laughs> it's kingpin. Yeah, a little bit when he like <laughs> sits all hunched over. It's gross. <laughs> it's not about the food, Spider Man. <laughs> and who am I kidding? Yes, it is. <laughs> he's shell shocked. Look at this kid, dude. He's got a. He he went to like the Great War, but for monsters. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She falls into the cauldron and then the movie ends. Because she that flew too fast. <laughs> It'd be fine if the movie ended here, honestly. <laughs> I can only I, imagine the pain this woman would have from floating in that posture at all times. Like, her back must be, like, broken. Yeah, I'd be like, you know what? I'm just gonna walk. Yeah, or just float upright. Yeah. Whoa. I mean, I guess that's handy. You can just sit in the air. Mm-hmm. I made you a web asset. Web <laughs> asset. Put for this your in VT. your PS2 game. <laughs> yeah, for you. Put this in the background of your OBS. <laughs> yeah, you can stick it to yourself and pretend it's a cape. And whenever you waggle back and forth in your standing position that you're always in, it'll kind of move with you. Yeah. Kind of. And here's an Ouya that's Halloween themed. <laughs> um dude whenever you get spaghetti with meatballs in it what you're supposed to do is eat the meatballs and throw away the rest exactly throw away the rest throw away the rest throw away the rest and also have your spaghetti and meatballs with milk apparently i mean i can't fault them for that no, milk's that's good gross dude i have milk with pizza Mm -mm. I have milk with other things, mm. burgers, if... cookies. No, that's oh. too much. I have water with cookies. <laughs> what? I I dip my Oreos in the water. <laughs> <laughs> what? Ew! <laughs> I hate that a lot. I love how the characters all look nasty. But the animators don't care, and like they make their facial expressions so crazy that they look even nastier. I like how this character looks like a rat, a toying rat, but a human. Yeah, he does. But like design wise, animation wise, he looks like he was competently made. Maybe. It's Sans. <laughs> Sans Undertale. It's a Tumblr sexy man of 20. <laughs> 22 it's if you knew what his brother looked like i wouldn't have to call him sans they look like luigi's mansion ghosts from the first game Whoa. oh he hasn't been invited into the house because he's a vampire it's <laughs> oh, <yeah. That's> funny <laughs> there are s's in the corner of the welcome mat and the s's stand for so scary so scary <laughs> scary park oh <laughs> 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 this this world needs a little bit of lo luma luma illusion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we need the dancing red riding hood with the wolf. Yeah, maybe at some point Jimmy Jimmy will go, I hope there's no werewolf around the corner and he sees a woman in red dancing and then he goes, "Oh no." <laughs> he gets scared. I haven't even seen it yet. For reference, viewer, uh, Aspen was telling me about a, uh, like, ride that she went on as a kid. Yeah, a carnival ride, basically. Yeah. I'll probably put a clip in. <laughs> yeah, do it. 
<laughs> I dare you. That can be the little intro meme. <laughs> oh, yeah. If there's a scene, if there's a scene of like uh, of Jimmy, like, oh, don't scare me. You can like jump scare him with the with the dancing Jeff Dunham woman. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, what I... even was it? <laughs> so, I've had an idea for like a little intro bumper meme, but I mm-hmm. have no way to fit this in somewhere. Okay. Like, I have a clip that I want to be put in somewhere. Not like a full-fledged meme idea. You, yeah. you can you can think of it. There's a clip from Family Feud where Steve Harvey points at the board and goes, KILL! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can hear him saying that. <laughs> KILL! And I really... <laughs> yeah. I... <laughs> I, uh... I had an idea in my head, but I couldn't find... Maybe we can do this for, like, a Fairly Odd Parents, because there's, like, the live-action Drake Bell ones. Yeah. We can, like, watch Fairly Odd Parents. I thought of, uh, hey, I'm Ubu, and I'm Aspen, and then it goes, and we're... Like, it's about to be the Fairly fairy God Parents, and they go, yeah. you're Fairy God pa-. And then Steve Harvey pops up and goes, kill! And then they <laughs> explode. And then it goes, because we started the movie. Mm. <laughs> But that that's just pretty me. good. Yeah, you can write that one down for later. Or you can do it for this episode and it just not make any sense. It's not like we haven't done stuff like that before. Yeah, no, definitely not. I would never. <laughs> like, <laughs> what was it for Fan Expo? LA Beast threw up and exploded the... <laughs> Yeah, exploded was, uh, the retirement home. <laughs> was uh, the, the Crystal ding, Pepsi. Ding, 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 and then yeah. he flew <laughs> up with the explosion. <laughs> hey, it, well, it made sense inside of the context of there was all no of con- the cutting room yeah. floor bits of that episode. <laughs> yeah, it. I'm sure it did. And I love it where people are like, what did that even mean? Because mm-hmm. it's like, I know. <laughs> I mean, in my head, like it makes sense to me. It's but, just random and funny. That's all that matters. Yeah, whenever you mash two things, well, one thing that's funny and one thing that's like epic, you know, mm-hmm. watching Gus. Oh, I wouldn't say Gus blowing up is epic because I like Gus, but memorable, <laughs> serious. Yeah. I don't know. <clears throat> Excuse me. Intense. Um, dude, he broke his leg kicking those pumpkins. That's mm. blood on the floor oh, from no. him. Yeah, he, he didn't just break his leg. He like broke it open. Oh, <laughs> there was blood on the ground. What am I supposed to say? They're real pumpkins. They're living pumpkins. It's the real pumpkins. There he is. <laughs> Ooh, we should watch It's the Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown one year. Mm. That would be a good 20-minute th- movie grits episode. <laughs> yeah, that's one I haven't seen. So. Really? You never watched that? I don't think so. And if I did, it was like maybe once during school or something, so I wouldn't remember very much. Did you did you watch like a lot of peanuts growing up? No, not really. I think I only ever watched them whenever a teacher would play it or something. Goodness. Yeah. I liked his little run animation and how he like kind of I don't know, did like an extendo leg when he noticed the moon was happening. Anyway, that's surprising to me because like the peanuts is, I mean that's that's Americana right there. Yeah. Everyone loves Snoopy. Yeah. But yeah, there. So there's an episode where uh, it's the Halloween one, and uh, Linus they they ask him, "Are you going to the Halloween party?" And he's like, "No, I'm going to wait in the pumpkin patch for the great pumpkin." Because uh, he only shows up to good boys and girls, and if I'm not watching, then he won't show up for me. And he spends all night, and uh, Charlie Brown's little sister, Sally, uh, he she has a crush on Linus, and is like, okay, well, I'll go wait with you, because I like you. And uh, it, it spoilers, there is no such thing as the Great Pumpkin, so they sat out in the field like all night for no reason. 
tragic. But that's such an iconic thing is the, it's the great pumpkin. Because he sees <laughs> Snoopy rising up out of the pumpkin patch. And mm-hmm. he thinks it's the great pumpkin for some reason, even though it's a dog. <laughs> a dog. But yeah, Peanuts is peak. I love the music that they do for those cartoons, like the little jazzy music. You know, everyone knows that. Yeah, and they do their little funny dances. Yes, they do. Uh, I love those dances. But um, in the Christmas ones, there's another song. It's it goes like I love that song. I wish that I could make a cartoon and have music that good for it. That'd be like the dream. The dream. I'd be like, God, you can take me home now. I, I've done everything. There's nothing else for me to do here. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you just stop? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my mouth still hangs off my head. <laughs> I think it's adorable how the little sister hangs out with these folks as friends, too. Yeah, didn't they kind of like, whoa. (laughs) I didn't like that at all. Yeah, they hung out with Jimmy. And I guess now they're like, well, the little sister's cool, too, I guess. Oh, it's cheese. Cheese, you're here. You're not just in the movie no more. Cheese, a little skinny boy, go eat some food, a little skinny boy. You're the skinniest of them all. You need to be as big as dude one day. Yeah, I can't imagine him being as big as dude. (laughs) Dude is so fat. Like when he lays down, his belly is just round. And it's not because he's lazy. He is the most active of the cats. I don't understand. I completely get it. Gigi is the same way. She is a spaz she's always running around always Mm -hmm. wanting to play but she eats so much she always thinks about food yeah when i make eggs and bacon in the morning she'll hop up on the counter i have to be like no get down because she's like "Ooh, what this i want to eat it yeah no and it it's like i like they are free fed and it's not like dude just sits and eats until all the food is gone he regulates himself Mm -hmm. like he'll stop but i guess he just eats a little bit too much, you know? <laughs> no, I, I, I get it. Cause, yeah, because it's not like Gigi spent, like I said, she runs around and plays and stuff. Excuse me, yeah. I had to burp. Um, Ew. But, like, <laughs> his faces, though. I like them. Someone decorated the Halloween and put skulls on the put, Halloween. Put poison everywhere. Put a stop sign with a crown on it. I don't know what that means, but I guess I can't buy this now. Oh, good news. Chip is eating. Good job, Chip. Keep at it. You only got like five more pounds to gain. (laughs) I know. (laughs) (laughs) Ah, That's funny. Cats are fun. (laughs) Yeah, they they are their own level of fun uh, or their own type of fun. I like how yes. his head got bigger for no reason. Um, but like, I don't know. I miss dogs. <laughs> <laughs> I, I miss don't. having a dog. I, I absolutely do. I don't. We just, we had an old rug and we flipped it over because the back of it's like that scratchy material, material that cats like. And we mm-hmm. just um, screwed it into the wall. Mm-hmm. So the cats run like full speed and run up the wall on the carpet. You don't see a dog doing that. Yeah, well, that's fine though. <laughs> what? You I like it when my. Up the wall? No. Um, I mean, it would be funny. Like cats are funny. I, yeah. I, I, it's not like I don't like cats, but dogs are like companions. You know, mm. they're always happy to see you, and like cats, half the time are like, "Go away." <laughs> I think it's because all of your cats are female cats. Maybe. Boy cats are, I I have found, much more friendly. Well, it's not even that our cats aren't friendly. It's just like dogs, dogs and cats are different animals. Dogs have like evolved to love humans, whereas cats, you know, they kind of, they're like, I know you'll give me food, and I have, like, a fun little personality, so you enjoy watching me bounce off the walls and stuff. <laughs> you know? 
it's think... like two different things. It's not that one's better than the other. It's just kind of like different personalities prefer different things. And I, I like an animal that like I feel like wants me to be around. Yeah. I'm not saying like like I feel like the cats hate me. It's just like, dude, I want to sit here and just like pet you and watch TV with you. Yeah. I think it was something like cats are or dogs are 12,000 years more domesticated than cats are. So cats are just less socialized with humans. Well, assuming the, the world doesn't end by then, cats are well on their way to being domesticated like dogs. <laughs> yeah, just 12,000 years. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I... That'll be crazy to, like, if we live in a world, well, we won't, we'll be dead. But <laughs> if our distant ancestors live in a world where cats are as domesticated as dogs are now, what would dogs be like? <laughs> they would be just like people. And why didn't yeah. they animate this like this? Uh, Because it doesn't look that great. It looks good as a cutaway gag, though. <laughs> I mean, it's got more character, I feel like. I think this movie has character. I uh, think they like, like the first movie, its character is that it looks like Ratatouille. This movie looks like Ratatouille if they tried and cared about what they were making. Yeah, and now they're giving us a little baking tutorial. Dude, I need to write this down so I can make a binging with Babish knockoff. Yeah, on how to make a s'mores, they definitely did not put enough chocolate on there. Yeah. Whoa! It wouldn't work like that. It would, like, plume out and then shrink after you open the microwave. Yeah. And it would probably, like, explode into the ceiling of the microwave and you'd have to clean it. Now, I've microwaved marshmallows before. If mm. you open, if you if you put it on, like, a plate that's, like, plastic and you keep an eye on it, it'll, it'll like, plume up and then just kind of like yeah. a casserole or, like, a souffle. I have a gas stove, so I could actually just roast it on the open flames of my stove. Um, Marshmallows roasting on the open flame. <laughs> the gasoline. Jimmy's plotting his revenge. Oh, that reminds me. So, um, I was back home at my parents' place this past week, and I almost mm -hmm. caught the kitchen on fire. <laughs> <laughs> because they Don't also tell. have a gas stove. And I was making bacon, and they didn't have... And I don't know why I didn't think just to use the lid, but they didn't have like a pop cover like I have at home to like, you know, keep the grease from exploding everywhere. Mm -hmm. um, so I was like, oh, I'll just use this paper towel to block my face from getting popped at possibly when I flip mm -hmm. them over. Well, turns out I was holding it literally on top of the burner and the paper towel caught on fire. Mm. And... I mean, I'm being dramatic. It was fine. I just put it on the stovetop and let it burn to a crisp, and then it was fine. But I was just like, I felt so <laughs> stupid. I was like, yeah, I It's like, if there was anywhere for that fire to go, <laughs> things would have gotten pretty bad. Yeah, no. I mean, I had, like, the vent hood on and everything. I was like, there's no way this is going to be worse than what is happening currently. And it was fine. That's good. But yeah, You're... I just felt really stupid because it's like, <laughs> bruh. <laughs> well, here, I'll out stupid you to make you feel better. Okay. One time, I woke up and I walked into the kitchen and my mom was like, good morning, sweetie. And I was like, good morning. And she had lit a candle because she wanted to just have like a nice relaxing morning with yeah. like a scented candle smell. And I took a napkin and I stuck it in the candle okay. and it caught on fire and the fire spread a lot faster than I thought it would. Yeah. And me and her panicked while I was just holding a napkin that was on fire. <laughs> um, I don't remember how we put it out, but we did. And she was just like, why did you do that? And I was like, I just wanted to see what it looked like. And I regret it now. <laughs> that reminds me of my good old college days. Mm -hmm. also eat with her legs um <laughs> uh this is back when i had the roommate that was literally crazy and <laughs> would drink every night and invite a bunch of strangers over to our apartment always fun yeah but one night i was trying to sleep and i woke up to the fire alarms going off which is always great in a high-rise building um mm -hmm. and so i come out and the kitchen just smells like smoke. And I'm like, what did you do? And she was like, oh, 
I didn't have a lighter, so I was trying to light my uh, joint using your toaster. <laughs> ah. I was like, what? <laughs> Goodness. Not only, I mean, I guess creative thinking, but it was my toaster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, that's that's considerate and, and all that. Dude, they brought back... They made references. The Easter eggs, the old costumes. I mean, yeah, they all look exactly the same. <laughs> They're like, we still got the models. Anyway, I'm sorry that happened, but that's crazy. That's crazy. I My mind's going crazy. Yeah, it was just the icing on the cake with that roommate. It's crazy. Mm-hmm. You were like, okay, well, good night. Try not to burn the place now. Try yeah, not to get skunk smell everywhere. Yeah, we got the smoke out so it didn't set off like the entire building's alarms. Because if the room alarms go off long enough, then it sets off the entire building's alarm. Which would have mm. been terrible. And the fire department yeah. would have showed up. And it would have been so embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if, if I had a roommate and they tried to light a joint with my toaster that would have been the i feel like if they were like having parties every night i'd be like we wouldn't have gotten to a point where this was acceptable you know like yeah if if, if you told me this was going to happen then i wouldn't have said you got a deal room roomy you know but yeah it was like- once once mar- marijuana smell enters the equation i'm like that does it <laughs> yeah i have a i have a oh oh <laughs> Wait, what? I like how the only part of him that's not censored is down there. Because he doesn't wear pants normally. That's funny. That's a funny bit. They got me. Um, But yeah, because it's like, I have a house. I have a room. I have an abode, a sanctuary, specifically to get away from this smell. Yeah. So. This was like during my era when I was stricken with social anxiety, but yet very headstrong at the same time so like Mm -hmm. that had been my apartment the year prior and she had technically moved in to my apartment you could say Mm -hmm. um so i was like i could have moved to another apartment and had different roommates you know but i was like no i like this apartment we were in a four bedroom four bathroom but there were only two of us and I was like, no, I like this setup. I want her to leave, but of course she never left. So it was just so stupid. Looking back on it, I'm like, why didn't I just leave and move to <laughs> a different apartment? Um, yeah. But, you know, growing up, learning to be an adult and stuff. Yeah, we've all been there. Definitely mm-hmm. me. No, yeah. Um, Ubu, you, you lived next door, I remember. <laughs> yeah. And I, I kicked my... A toaster smoking roommate out. Yeah, and she right moved in with sh- me. <laughs> yeah, I said I don't know why I was rooming with you to begin with because I'm a guy and you're a girl. But here, get out. Um, exactly. Yeah, and she was like, "Okay, I'll just knock on the next door." And you were like, "Well, I'm I'm too headstrong to leave, but too socially anxious to say no." So okay. Yeah. Too socially anxious to actually confront her <laughs> about her crazy yeah. behavior. Gosh, his face is. He was turning into an eastern dragon. Um, <laughs> he was. Like a gargoyle. Oh. Dude, he's back the spore creature. Oh. She Doctor Strange her soul back. <laughs> I don't know why I thought you said Doctor Who. That She too. became the second scary godmother. <laughs> she regenerated or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> now she's woman. voiced by... Another person. I don't know mm-hmm. who voices her in this. I couldn't well, tell you. I should say I don't know who voices her, period. I don't think they got a new voice actress between this and the last movie. I Yeah, I have no clue because I can't hear hardly, so who knows. The The mumblings in my ear have sounded very similar to the mumblings the last time we watched a movie. Yeah. She reminds me, there's like these toys, it's like these little troll characters, but and you would expect like their hair to be fuzzy or something, but it's their like midsection. Mm. I don't, I don't think they were like popular, I just remember like my family having one at some point. 
I see. I see. Why did Jimmy put crowns on the Halloween stuff at the store, though? <laughs> because it was making fun of her. I don't know. I don't know. Why can't you buy Halloween stuff if Jimmy drew on it? Because it soiled it. You could soiled probably get it. a discount. Honestly, yeah. She winked that man and went into the dimension. The dimension. All right, everybody. We're leaving reality forever. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I would do if Jimmy was tormenting me. I want my revenge. Oh, he doesn't even have his revenge yet. How did they solve the Halloween crisis? <laughs> um... We still got like 10 minutes. Maybe they'll explain it. Maybe they'll say, hey, remember 10 minutes ago when we solved the Halloween crisis? <laughs> yeah, just flash forward and it's already done and they don't explain what happened. <laughs> Big eyes are about to happen. Yeah. <laughs> yup. It reminds me of in Pikmin whenever Olimar gets like surprised by something. You know, he normally has like the little line eyes. That's, um, I forget what you called him. Bingus. Yeah, Bingus. Mm -hmm. uh, but whenever like something surprises him, his like eyes become like, they bug out like that. It's pretty funny. That's what that reminds me of, because their their eyes are tiny, too. You were scared, you spineless fancy. <laughs> Let's try to think of a mean thing to say. Now we're going to eat you because we're vampires. Mm. <laughs> I th I'm glad you think we're cool, but now you are a ghoul. Ah, ah, ah. One, two, three children to kill. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Why is it green in the inside? Did they put a pumpkin on a tennis ball? Yep. <laughs> Anyway, do you have anything interesting that we could talk about? Um, I was going to say lunch leaks, moldy cheese. Have oh, you seen that? I have seen that. Uh, that's crazy. They should, I guess, put preservatives in their cheese. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I just think it's so funny because, you know, that one guy tweeted, he was like, I, man, I miss when YouTubers just, like, played video games and then all three of them responded uh, with, like, tweets. Oh, yeah. Mr. Beast was like, this is healthy. And Logan Paul was like, how dare you? This is packed with <laughs> nutrients. <laughs> And they're like, what, like lead? Oh, got him. <laughs> and now they come out and they're all moldy, which is so funny. Yeah. It's like uh, there was like the pink sauce lady. Yep. <laughs> Everyone was like, oh, we, we want that'd be cool to try. And she was like, oh, well, it exists now. And it was like, you know, people got it. And it was it wasn't pink. It was like green. Well, it's and they got sick or whatever. <laughs> it was a milk based sauce that she literally just mailed in the mail during mm -hmm. the summer and <laughs> dude just like a, a ranch soda or something yeah exactly she literally thought that she could just like mail food in the mail without an issue mm. <laughs> which is so funny it's like girl <laughs> yeah normally what you do is you get refrigerated trucks and then you make some sort of deal with like grocery retail you know, places. Yeah. And, and like you, you have the refrigerated trucks drive the thing to the stores. Exactly. And they refrigerate it until the expiration date and then they throw it away. But assuming no one buys it. Um, Which they didn't. I do think it's crazy. It The fact that like there are these YouTubers who make these like deals and like nothing really happens to them. You know, like, I don't, yeah. I think Pink Sauce Lady, you know, she, she had to apologize and, like, stop it. But it's like, you can just do that. Mm -hmm. You can just make moldy Lunchables and get away with it. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's. 
in in a very you know roundabout way it gives me a little bit of hope for the american dream because you can really get away with stuff (laughs) yeah you can literally do anything here yeah it's like if you were doing something ethical you know maybe maybe you could get away with doing something ethical but if you're doing something in it because like if you're doing something unethical then you can apparently get away with it Mm -hmm. (laughs) maybe the good ones can can keep going and not not get hindered by the government maybe maybe we'll have to see yeah maybe one day i'll make a product that needs Ew. to be refrigerated that's the that's the uh the lunchly cheese yeah that's the lunchly <laughs> cheese ball <laughs> yeah i i that's it's it's a silly thing it is weird to think about that there are people who are just like, their whole job is going, what's up, everybody? I'm going to be a nuisance in public. And by the way, uh, if you want a vaguely kiwi-flavored energy drink, <laughs> have I got a product for you. <laughs> Not much to do with my brand, but, you know, try yeah. it. <laughs> and it's so weird. Like, I would say I'm decently knowledgeable about health stuff because that's something I care about. So it's something I look into regularly. And it's just mm-hmm. like, yeah, Lunchly's are healthier because they have mold in them. And, but it's just like <laughs> the whole prime thing. System. It's like it's hydrating and good for you and has no sugar in it. And it's like on the surface, yeah, that looks good. But if you look into it, most of like the electrolytes in prime are artificial electrolytes. And mm. say what you will about artificial things love them or hate them i'm just like if there's a natural alternative why do you want to feed kids a bunch of artificial stuff it just doesn't make any sense it's like do you see the irony of what you're saying it's like it's better for your kids but it's also fake (laughs) yeah i i think what people are forgetting is that sometimes the healthiest alternative maybe just maybe isn't buying a prepackaged product from the store yeah it's buying the you, you like everyone listening here's a tip a life hack for you mm-hmm. you know how like you know you have the aisles with the lunchables on them you know how like there's another little section and it's got like the avocados and like the, the <laughs> tomatoes and the apples and stuff yeah if you bite into one of those things you're getting nutrients without like the preservatives and the artificial stuff because that's the fruit and the vegetables that like mommy and daddy and the government told you were good for you exactly and it's like i understand (laughs) the lunchables are cheaper and all that kind of stuff but it's like it's already made it's yeah, yeah time consuming if but if it's something you really care about like you'll make it happen you know and i get some people don't care about it so it's whatever but it's the people that are like oh this is so bad for me but i have no other option it's like well if it's important to you then you will accomplish it you know like it's like it, it it i think it should be relatively important considering the way that you are alive right now is eating exactly you know like you don't have to be like a an eating freak Mm-hmm. But all a good bright. Yeah, it's like you can make a homemade lunchly and it'll be so much better for you. Yeah, like, if your kid is like, I want a lunchly, you can just take an apple and you can slice it up and put it in like a little plastic tray with like, I don't know, cheese that you, like you can buy like cheese from the grocery store yeah. and crackers from the grocery store. And it won't be moldy. <laughs> Yeah, and like, like, and and then this is the thing. Like, even though there is like the cheese that you're buying from the grocery store doesn't have preservatives in it, you can like give it different types mm-hmm. because it's like that's like the fresh stuff, you know. Yeah. Depending on the grocery store, you can get cheese you've never even heard of. You know, you can, you can turn your kid into like a little cheese connoisseur. Exactly. Make oh. your child. You can make your child. A, what is it? A char- chartreuserie board or whatever? A charcuterie board. Yeah, I was almost there. You know yeah. what I was trying to say. Um, a charcuterie board. Mm-hmm. Did I just say the same thing again? No, you said it right. Okay, you can make a charcuterie board for your child, and just like put it in a plastic tray and be like, 
lunchly and they'll be like ooh, 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 exactly you know? just tell them that who's a big youtuber now tell them skibbity toilet made this <laughs> charcuterie board and they'll love it no you can even like <laughs> pretend you can print out a piece of paper with the skibbity yeah, just, toilet on yeah, it just, <laughs> <laughs> yeah get, get <laughs> just make like a like yeah, get get like a uh uh like a see-through paper with like adhesive around it and just kind of like layer it on top of the charcuterie board and skibbity toilets in the middle and just be like here's the here's your uh, your your I don't know your your skibbity lunch. <laughs> your skibbity riz lunch. <laughs> yeah, here's here's your skibbity rizly lunch. Skibbity riz lunch. Whatever. And uh they'll be like, "Oh yeah." You know, I'm, this is, this is bussin'. Mm -hmm. This is, um, yeah, kids don't say goat anymore. I don't even know what kids say. <laughs> they, yeah, they, they, they'll just eat it. They don't say anything anymore. They just nod in approval and then dig in. That's true. But, uh, but yeah, so you could do that. You know, that, that might take a little bit, but, and it might cost more than a lunchly, but you know what else? It's dope, you know? Yeah, it's also people forget. They're like, oh, it's so much expensive more expensive to buy all the ingredients it's like no actually it's not because you make so much more you know yeah you're you're getting like you could what you're thinking of not you aspen mm. but what this hypothetical person who's the straw man that we've created is Correct. thinking of is like it costs like a dollar for one serving of moldy cheese but <laughs> What you're not taking into consideration is you could have like 18 servings of, of moldy for, cheese. Uh, yeah, uh, well, of not moldy cheese. Yeah. <laughs> and so, like, other people can have the cool Skibbity Riz charcuterie lunch. Mm -hmm. You ever think about that, Straw Man? You ever think about that? Anyway, what did you think of Scary Godmother Revenge <laughs> of the Jimmy DVD quality? I thought quality? you were going to say Skibbity Toilet. <laughs> yeah, what do you think of Skibbity Toilet? <laughs> Honestly, I thought Skibbity Toilet was a Gmod meme. <laughs> I mean, it might be. I don't, I don't know where it comes from, and frankly, it scares me. Bleh. Exactly. I don't I don't know where it comes from either. There's not a third burp to go with that. I'm going to ask ChatGPT. Hang on. Hang on, everyone. Hey, well, you ask ChatGPT, and I'll ask Chat. Chat, where does Skibbity Toilet come from? Okay. Thank you for the answer. Um, um, the Skibbity Toilet phenomenon originates from a series of bizarre and surreal animated videos created by the YouTuber Da Blank Boom. Because uh, there's a swear. Um, the videos often referred to as the Skibbity Toilet series feature dancing and singing toilets with human heads emerging from the bowls. These videos are set to the tune of the song Dom Dom Yes Yes. Oh, yeah. I love that song. <laughs> Which is heavily edited to fit the strange meme-like nature of the animations. <laughs> okay. Well, okay. Uh, well, what did you think of Scary Godmother Revenge <laughs> of Jimmy? <laughs> I think it was... Yes. Mm. I think it was better than the first one. I liked how the characters looked better i liked how the backgrounds were cell shaded it looked like they had enough of a budget for like a direction for like an art yeah, direction this time i around. liked i liked how they were very unapologetic with how like nasty the character like emotions could get yeah um everything else i really wasn't paying attention to it might be like the dopest story you know, we just got into some Kingdom Hearts lore here, and I just, I haven't been watching. Um, but I don't think we have. It's it's like a, a dumb kid's movie. Mm. But dumb in a good way. Yeah. Would I, sh if I had children, would I show this to my children? Mm. If every other really awesome children's movie in the world was unavailable, I wouldn't have a problem showing my children Scary Godmother Revenge of Jimmy. But... It probably I wouldn't be thinking about it if that wasn't the case. Mm. And with that, mm. unless you have something else to add, 
No. <laughs> All right. Uh, then we'll go ahead and end it. Everybody remember to smash that like button. Mm -hmm. If you don't, I'll cry. And yeah. uh, make sure to read my webcomic and read Aspen's book when it comes out in like a year. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. Bye. Bye. Mold. Mold. <laughs> <laughs>